Hi, my name is Mary Spender and you are watching Tuesday Talks. Please excuse me while I take you back in time because... In this video, I am going to learn Why Georgia by John Mayer in Atlanta, Georgia. Because of the nature of this video, it is likely to be demonetized, so I'd really appreciate it if you checked out my Patreon or my merch store. This song is one of my favorite John Mayer songs and I have never covered it because I've never learned it properly because it's hard. I mean, it's not neon, but I'm still finding it next to impossible. This one is just a little bit deceiving um, because it starts off with two very well-known chords when it comes to even just learning guitar. The first chord, second chord, and then it starts to get a little bit complicated. And to be honest, I don't think I'm even gonna finish it in this trip. Uh, that trip ended almost two months ago, and spoiler, I still suck at this song. I pretty much learnt how to play guitar in my style from failing at playing like John Mayer. I have a quiet hotel room, and I have a view of Atlanta outside. The thing that makes this song even harder is that he's singing and playing this at the same time. So I think I've been pretending to play this song for mm, 10 years because of this tricky bit in the first verse. I'd be like, I am driving up 85 in the kind of morning that lasts all afternoon. <laughs> and I wouldn't even do it properly, I'd just be like. I'm finally giving the attention to this section that it requires, but here is my first attempt. Yes, I am singing that incorrectly and therefore I waste the next half an hour. Then whilst looking up the actual chords and tabs rather than just trying to listen to it and think that I can manage it, I come to this horrifying realization. I don't even know how you're meant to play that. Like I literally, I actually just don't know. Da, 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 da. Ah, oh my god. Ah. So that needs to stay there. He he's ergonomic with his playing, so If you look up frustration in the dictionary, you might actually just find a picture of me there. Do I just not play that and I have to play an open? I think it's like... This is one of the most frustrating things about anything. Learning anything. This isn't just guitar based, this is everything based. Like, you sit down, you're so eager to learn it, and then there is just this one little thing that just throws you off. I go through a minor crisis in every practice session, but here I give myself a lecture on why I should push myself harder to benefit my songwriting. I would come up with something way more intricate and way more intelligent and way more fun to play. So something like this, it just shows that John Mayer sat and played and studied for years and years and years. So in the right hand, I really need to play that E. So even before I've even used my ring finger and my pinky. I need to pronunciate it with my right hand. And that probably comes from my index finger. The difficulty is the, is the lighter notes up the top. So I can hear those. No, no, that's not it. Those, and they stand out to me more than the lower notes. Listening back, I can hear that it's definitely more pronounced in the lower part of the chord. Um, I've made a breakthrough, so it's all about this pinky going from there to there. Ah. On that note, 
literally. My hand is officially sore. Um, and I would say it has been about 40 minutes. I'm gonna take a break because that is a healthy thing to do when practicing guitar. That break lasted a lot longer than I expected. And although I was songwriting and playing guitar, I wasn't practicing this song. Before I knew it, I was in Germany. It was the middle of June, but I did get to recruit Paul Davids to help me. Hi, my name is Paul Davids. This is a one-on-one -on -one lesson session with Mary Spring. <laughs> so you played not with your thumb. Uh, ah, so should so, I? Yeah, well, for me it is way more easy because you can hold your hand in the same position. Uh, you see, there's only very small movements. And when you play the open A string, you can move very fluidly, like, to the next. Turns out I was playing the easy bit incorrectly too. Use your index finger to play the hammer on. Well, the only thing is I'm choosing a thick neck and I've got yeah. tiny little hands. Well, this one. It makes a lot of sense to when you learn something to really focus on the least amount of effort you can use to, to play your riff. Yeah. Wise words from Paul, but now we get into the really tough section. Boom, so it's thumb, chord, thumb, dum, tuck. Yeah. And then you play the three strings again, but you remove the pinky. Yeah, and then you just do a hammer on and the pull off, yeah. So each time you play this, you have to play the three strings. Because it's really about like the, a little bit syncopated rhythm of that. But you have to do it slowly. Oh yeah, almost, yeah. Ooh, yeah, almost. And that brings me here, almost four months after I started learning this song and I still haven't perfected it, but here is my latest attempt. I am driving up 85 in the kind of morning that lasts all afternoon Just stuck inside the gloom Four more exits to my apartment but I am tempted to keep the car in drive Leave it all behind. <laughs> that is the closest I have ever got. So that's lucky. Ah! I can't push my luck any further. <laughs> I hope I got that. Oh man. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. Check out my original music. I just released a new single. And comment down below with the song that you are finding challenging right now because Why Georgia is an ongoing challenge for me. So let me know what yours is. But otherwise, I will see you next week. I am driving up 85 in the Kind of morning, that's all afternoon And stuck inside the glue Ah, I keep switching as well. Paul Davids told me to use my thumb. Sorry, John.